It's Thursday! And once again, I'm Harold Merritt. I'm here at the Fountain of Raleigh. Yeah, it's me, once again. I know it. You ain't getting tired of me yet, are you? If you are, <laughs> oh well, I still love you. But anyway, I'm just here and excited to share uh, some good word with you and just encourage you on today, this day, Thursday. This is the day the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I was sitting in my office uh, the other day and I was listening to uh, a gospel song. Um, it's, the title of it is Oceans. It's by uh, Hillsong, uh, Hillsong United. And I would strongly encourage you if you get a chance to pull it up and listen to it. Uh, but the second part of the song uh, talks about uh, trusting God. Um, and, the song, and, 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 the, and the scriptures uh, go something like, well, not the scriptures, but the lyrics of the word are, Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. And my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. It's such a powerful song uh, that it reminded me of a letter uh, that I wrote to uh, a brother of mine uh, just a couple of years ago. I think it was 2019. And if you, if you would allow me, I, I would like to share that letter with you um, to see where I was in that space and where I was at that time dealing with trust. Um, and the letter was this. It says, I had an epiphany this morning that has completely rocked my world and just wanted to share with you. All this time I was saying that I trust you, Lord, realizing that it was only conditional trust. I was only trusting God for things that I could see or think I was able to do with a little guidance and help from him. You know what I mean? I was basing my trust off of what I thought I was capable of doing, not what he could do to and through me. So if I didn't think I, in my own strength and ability, could go forth or engage in something, I would withdraw or better yet, find an excuse not to engage. All that to say, my prayer to God, along with a bucket of tears, because I was crying, was God... Help me to see through your eyes and speak from your heart and to, to and through. Let me say that. God, help me to see through your eyes and speak from your heart to and through my heart to the persons you allow me to come into contact with. It was the love from his heart that kept my heart in my season of pain and suffering. It was the love from his heart that kept my mind when I could have easily have gone crazy. It was the love from his heart that sees more in me than I see in myself. And my prayer is to trust his heart and his purpose and plan. And not to look at myself and my insecurities and my flaws, but to trust him. Trust that where he guides, he will provide. Trust that his spirit will continue to lead me and guide me and reveal the heart of Christ to me. Trust that I can do this in my, I can't do this in my own strength and that I am completely and totally under his care and control. Whatever revelation of himself that he desires for me to know, he will, through his spirit, reveal to me. I know this is a lot. I just needed to flush it out of my mind and share it with somebody I trust truly and genuinely cares for my soul. Continue to keep me in your prayers as I walk or work this thing out. And brothers and sisters, I'm still walking and working this thing out. But I, I encourage you to turn to the book of Jeremiah 29, 11. And what does it say? It says, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, this is the Lord speaking, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans of good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. On this Thursday, saints, I just encourage you to trust God. I encourage you to trust his purpose and his plan that he has for your life. And you know what the exciting thing about this is? We trust in God's purpose and plan, and we celebrate 
the God we serve, because it's not our strength, it's his strength. And the awesome thing about God is he has a plan for us. And we just have to trust the one who is Christ, who has the plan. Now, what that plan is, <laughs> we all trying to figure it out. But we trust God knows. God will lead us and God will guide us. And just like the song says, lead me where my trust is without borders and take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. Only God could do that for us. Hey, it's Thursday. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Until we meet again. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.